Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz and this time I'm going to do something different. I'm going to start a modelling with Fujit thing. And I'm, I'm in two minds, do I keep it on my channel or not? Well, I've decided my first thing is going to be I'm going to build a model straight from the box. And we've got Master Boxes, German military car, Type 70V. This is what it eventually looked like, but this is a different one. This is a police car that I built and I'll be honest with you it was a bloody nightmare for various reasons it wasn't the easiest model to build but this one is similar to the one that I'm going to build so this is just a, a sweetener so this is what we're going to build the German military car I'm going to build it straight from the box with no aftermarket add-ons let's have a look what's in the box first I mean there's it comes with a, a load of stuff and I'll be honest with you um, it's master box isn't that bad but there are a few things which are a bit of a nightmare and one of the things that's a bit of a nightmare is actually the instructions which let's be honest with you aren't exactly the best and i struggled with the original uh, police car that you saw earlier in the box you get all the goodies um you get the tires the things comes on pretty nice sprues however some of the parts i found with the police car are very fragile and when you cut them they break which is a bit of a nightmare when you're building a model like this the other thing that you may or may not notice actually is that unlike traditional models where each item is numbered on the sprue master box don't do that so this is where the instructions becomes a bit of a nightmare so as you can see here, I mean, it's they're crisply molded, funnily enough. Uh, you get quite a lot in the box. I picked this one up actually in Russia for next to nothing. And as I said, it is actually, and you get a load of people as well, which will make it look good. And we'll build it straight from the box. Now here's the instructions and it, they're not the best. They're okay. Um, but you see here, all the, all the parts are numbered at the beginning. And when you try to go through it, the pictures aren't brilliant and it's a little bit fiddly in fact it's a bit of a nightmare and you have to keep turning the page to get back to this page to find the numbers on the sprue but it it you know the build of that car took a while it was a bit fiddly and I'm anticipating that the build on this car will be just as fiddly now as this will be my very first modeling video what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it over a series so we're gonna do the We'll do the build, followed by the initial painting, and we'll probably be in three parts. And as I said, it's my first video so on modeling, which I've been doing for a while. So there's going to be a lot of ups and downs, but I'll try and keep it pretty straightforward. As I said, it's going to be straight from the box. I'm going to add no aftermarket to it whatsoever, but we are going to add some little bits and bobs to make it a little bit better. But they won't cost you anything and they're not aftermarket and hopefully that'll be good enough so it will come soon I've just ordered the new camera because the camera I'm using at the moment is my iPhone 11 which is great but it's not good for these type of videos it'll be here so we'll start this series sometime in the next two weeks hopefully so stay tuned and hopefully it'll be a good thing until then stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield if you play tanks and happy tanking if you play tanks, because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.